Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Hi, student. In this chapter, we will learn about quadratic expression and equation, which include expansion, factorization, general form, and root of equation. Let's see some expansion example. Example one: expand a coefficient with a bracket. In this example. 2 is the coefficient and the bracket is the term within the bracket which is 2x plus y. To expand a bracket with a coefficient, the coefficient is multiplied to each and every term within the bracket. In this case, the coefficient 2 multiplied with the term 2x plus the coefficient 2 multiplied with the term y. 2 times 2x equal to 4x and 2 times y equal to 2y. The expansion equal to 4x plus 2y. See one more example, which is to expand a bracket with a bracket. In this case, the term in the first bracket are 2x plus y, and the term in the second bracket is also 2x plus y. To expand two brackets, each term within the first bracket is multiplied with each term within the second bracket. In this case, the expansion equal to 2x multiplied with 2x plus 2x multiplied with y plus y multiplied with 2x plus y multiplied with y. 2x multiplied with 2x equal to 4x squared. 2x multiplied with y equal to 2xy. y multiplied with 2x equal to 2xy and y multiplied with y equal to y square. The expansion is equal to 4x square plus 2xy plus 2xy plus y square. You can simplify the answer into 4x square plus 4xy plus y square. Next, can you prove that bracket x plus y multiplied with bracket x minus y equal to x square minus y square. And before you proceed, please mark this as mathematics tips 1 because you will use it for factorization in the next topic. To expand two brackets, term within the first bracket is multiplied with each term within the second bracket. The negative xy and the positive yx can cancel out each other. So the answer is equal to x square minus y square. Next, let's prove that bracket x plus y square equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Also, please mark this as mathematics tips 2 because you will use it for factorization in the next topic. The bracket x plus y close bracket square is equal to bracket x plus y multiplied with bracket x plus y. Then, just perform the expansion like the previous example. You will get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, prove bracket x minus y close bracket square equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Mark this as mathematics tips 3 for the factorization in the next topic. The method of expansion is similar to the previous example. Just have some positive and negative or plus and minus different. Before we proceed to the next topic, factorization, you can try this question to test your understanding. And the answers are provided at the end of this video. In the previous topic, we expand the algebraic a into algebraic B. If I want to reverse the algebraic B back into algebraic A, we have to perform factorization. We can perform factorization by extracting the common factor or using tips 1 to tips 3 that we learned in previous topic. Factorization example by extracting the common factor. For example, factorize 4x plus 2y. Step 1 is to find the common factor of 4x and 2y. 4x can be 4 multiplied by x, 2 multiplied by 2x, and 1 multiplied by 4x. 
while 2y can be 2 multiplied by y and 1 multiplied by 2y. Among all these factors, the common factors of 4x and 2y are 1 and 2. 2 is the highest common factor. Then, we extract the highest common factor, which is equal to 2 bracket 2x plus y close bracket. For factorization, we will use tips 1, tips 2, tips 3 if we are unable to find out the highest common factor. See this example, use tips 1, which is bracket x plus y bracket x minus y equal to x square minus y square to perform the factorization. To factorize k square minus 16, we will compare this algebraic expression with x square minus y square, where the x square equal to k square, therefore x equal to k, and 16 is equal to y square, where 16 is also equal to 4 square, therefore y equal to 4. Then we will substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the algebraic expression bracket x plus y bracket x minus y, which is equal to bracket k plus 4 bracket k minus 4. Next, factorize k square plus 8k plus 16. This algebraic expression is similar to tips 2. Therefore, we will use tips 2 to perform the factorization. Like the previous example, we comparing k square plus 8k plus 16 with x square plus 2xy plus y square. In the comparison, we will find out x square equal to k square, therefore x equal to k. Then, 16 equal to y square, where 16 also equal to 4 square, therefore y equal to 4. Then, we substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the algebraic expression bracket x plus y multiply with bracket x plus y and you will get the answer bracket k plus 4 multiply with bracket k plus 4. Next, k square minus 8k plus 16. Is this algebraic expression similar to tips 1, tips 2, or tips 3? The answer is tips 3. So we will use tips 3 to perform the factorization. Similar to the previous example, we do the comparison. We will find out x equal to k and y equal to 4. Then you substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the bracket x minus y multiply bracket x minus y and you will get bracket k minus 4 multiply with bracket k minus 4. Now you can pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. Next, we will learn how to write quadratic equation in general form. The general form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And we will learn how to identify the a, b, and c. For example, see this equation, m equal to 2m square minus 5 over 3. And we write it into general form. First, we can cross multiply 3 multiplied with m to get rid of the algebraic fraction which is equal to 3 multiplied with m equal to 2m square minus 5. And the general form is equal to 2m square minus 3m minus 5 equal to 0, where a equal to 2, b equal to negative 3, and c equal to negative 5. The next example, 2 plus 9x minus 2x square equal to 4 bracket x plus 1 close bracket. First, we will solve the equation with the bracket first, which is 4 multiplied with x plus 4 multiplied with 1. Then, rearrange the equation into general form become 2x squared minus 5x plus 2, where a equal to 2, b equal to negative 5, and c equal to 2. After learning factorization and general form, now we can proceed to find the root of quadratic equation. 
there are three methods to find the root of quadratic equation, which are through finding its common factor, use tips 1, tips 2, or tips 3. And the last one is the method of inspection or calculator method. For example, find the roots of equation x squared minus x. The first step is to do factorization. For this quadratic equation, the common factor is x. Therefore, extract out the x and the factorization equal to x bracket x minus 1. To find the root of equation, the equation must be equal to 0. Therefore, the value of x that satisfy this condition is when x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. And the last step, you may check your answer by substitute the value of x into the equation. When x equal to 0, substitute into x squared minus x is equal to 0. And when x equal to 1, substitute into x squared minus x is also equal to 0, which means the root of equation x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 is correct. Let's see another example. Find the root of equation k squared minus 16. Similar to previous example, the first step is to do factorization. For this equation k squared minus 16, the equation is similar to tips 1. Therefore, we will use tips 1 to do the factorization, which is equal to bracket k plus 4 bracket k minus 4. Step 2, find the root of equation, the value of k equal to negative 4 or positive 4, because this will satisfy the equation equal to 0. Step 3, check the answer. When k equal to negative 4, substitute into k squared minus 16, this will result a 0. And when k equal to 4, substitute into k squared minus 16, and this will also result a 0, which means the root of equation k equal to negative 4 or k equal to positive 4 is correct. Last, we will use the method of inspection if the method 1 or method 2 are not applicable. Method of inspection is performed by guessing the value of x. This method will take longer times to solve a problem and you may get mad because you will running out of time. Therefore, I will show you step by step to solve this using a scientific calculator. See this example, 2m square minus 3m minus 5 equal to 0. We are unable to find the common factor of this quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation is also not similar to tips 1, tips 2, or tips 3. Therefore, we are unable to do factorization using the previous method. We will do the factorization using calculator method. Identify the standard form where a equal to 2, b equal to negative 3, and c equal to negative 5. First, press the mode button 3 times. Then, press 1 to select equation, which is EQN display in your calculator. Then, press right and press 2 to select 2 degree. And press 2 again as your A, then press equal. Press negative 3 as your B, then press equal. Press negative 5 as your C, then press equal. And you will see your x1 equal to 2.5. And press equal again, you will see your x2 equal to negative 1. That means the root of equation is equal to m1 equal to 2.5 and m2 equal to negative 1. Then you may check your answer, see whether the root of equation satisfies the condition 2m squared minus 3m minus 5 equal to 0 or not. This chapter is finished. You may pause the video and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video.